Hello fellow traders. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a scanner in DAS to identify pre-market gappers or stocks in play. This is a handy way of doing it, especially if you don't have a specialized tool such as trade ideas. It's very simple to do and very simple to use. Okay, I'm going to start, I'm going to bring up my uh, desktop, default desktop, so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Um, well, here it is. This probably looks familiar to you. Here's your uh, your montage where you do all your trading from with your predefined hotkeys. You have your uh, top gainers and by NASDAQ or NASI. You have your one minute chart. You have your five minute chart. Um, you have your market viewer where you normally build your, your watch list. You have your time and sale. And it's a very simple um, and common uh, desktop for trading. So um, typically, you know, if you've been using this this window here, this top list, you know, it's kind of difficult to to use in a way because you know a lot of information is missing there. You have to click and double click on each individually. You can't do comparisons first, so you can't tell, you know, why is AMD. Uh, how is AMD compared to TSRO, you know, and why why is it there on the list, you know? So it's not so useful um, as the, the things that we're going to create. So let's get to it, all right? Before we start, I'm going to do uh, some save some of these configurations as default, especially this one. I'm going to save this, export this, the content of this list, export it to a watch list. Um, I'm going to call it watch list three. Okay. And I'm also going to say the layout, you know, I already have symbol here, percentage change and change and volume. And I want this layout to be saved in case I, when I create new market viewers, I can load that layout and make it a lot easier for me. So right click on the title, save as default, and commit. Same thing with the chart here. I'm going to save the chart as the default. Right click on the title, save as default, and commit. And same thing with the montage. That way, if, you know, I, I save my uh, my hotkeys, and I don't have to recreate my hotkeys. So I'm going to right click on it, save as default, and commit. Okay. Now we're ready to start creating new uh, a new tab here. So we go to the bottom where the tabs are, right click in the blank area of the tabs. Um, click on add new tab, create, I'm gonna call it a scanner. Click OK, and there it is. We have our scanner, a blank is blank for now. So um, the next thing we want to do here is create a new montage. But before I click this, I'm going to uh, blank out the screen because I don't want to disclose my user information. So I'm going to blank it out for a second and create the montage. And then, uh, then we'll come back for just give me a second. Bear with me. There it is. So we're back. Here's my montage. As you see, I already came out with, with my hotkeys because when I created, I did right click and I said uh, low default and commit. And that kind of breaks my, my hotkeys already. So um, the next step I want to do is move this montage to the upper left corner here. I'm going to shrink this a little bit. Here we go. 
perfect. Now, um, now we're ready to create some charts. So I'm gonna create, uh, click on quotes, chart. Then right click on the title bar, load default. Commit. And there's my one minute chart. I'm gonna shrink this. Click in it, press F2 to make it a five minute chart and resize it. All right, um, same thing with, I'm gonna create another one. Same steps. Okay, let's resize this guy. Now, what I want to do is create a new market viewer. So I click on quotes, market viewer. We we'll pick number, viewer number 20. Uh, please note that although it's number 20 here, it's going to show up as 19 later on for some reason. The numbers are off. It must be a bug in DOS. Okay, and we're going to do right click here, load default, commit, yeah, and as promise, there is showing 19 instead of 20, but it actually is viewer number 20. Don't ask me why. All right, so they're all off by one. So I'm going to create uh, three more viewers like that one. Um, well, before I do that, actually, I'm going to create a... Um, time sale window here we'll put it here I'm gonna create a, a market clock and I'm gonna put the market clock right here and resize it and I'm gonna resize my market that okay now I'm gonna create um, three more of these market viewers. Let's pick uh, 19 this time. Right click in the title bar, load default, commit. And I'm going to put it over here on the upper right corner and resize it. And let's create another one. Right click on the title bar, load default, commit. Yeah. There we go. And the last one. Okay, the last one here. There we go. I gotta resize these things a little bit so they fit nicely here. Okay, here we go. There we go. Everything is fitting nice. Okay. I think we got, we're we almost there, guys. Hang in there. So these market viewers, they're unlike this one. You know, the, right now their use is fine, but we're going to do something different with these, these three market viewers. Uh, and this is going to be the main, uh, the main ingredient here in this, in this uh, exercise. Um, but before we do anything with that, I'm going to have to link these all to the montage. So click on the anchor and drag it. Drag it to each window. All of them. Make sure that all these windows are linked to this montage and no other montage. Okay. Now that we've done that, um, I'm going to do define these two market viewers here three market viewers sorry 
So this one, let's go with this one first. Right click in the blank area here. We're going to pick View Topic List and click on NASDAQ Actives. And this one we're going to have NICE Actives. And then this last one we're going to pick View High Low Tickers and select both High and Low. This one here I don't use as much but every now and then I'll take a look at it. These two are the most important ones for, for scanning the pre-market and I'll explain them in a minute. Before I forget I'm going to save my desktop. Save desktop. I can pick a new name which I'm going to pick a new name. You know, I'm going to call it default scanners and save it. If you if you just save it as default.dsk, this is going to be your default. And when you open this, it would automatically open to this. You have, you know, your usual default tab and whatever. You know, I keep my account in this account tab. I'm not going to show it to you. And you have this new scanner tab that you just created. So now let's, how does this work? How does this scanner tab is going to work for us to create a, a list. Well, first of all, let's import um, our old list. Let's import the watch list that we created. Watch list three, open just in case. Import there. It's a blank list, you know. Um, and now we want to start creating you know looking at doing our analysis here and, and determining which which uh, stocks we want to put here in our list i'm going to just delete this stuff okay okay so um most important thing that we look when we are looking at the gappers list is obviously volume volume and percentage change you know what how's it gapping so we definitely want high volume this list is going to show us about 20 uh, most active stocks and you know they're in descendant order of volume so the top one here like AMD has got 139 million shares and is gapping up 10.4 percent that looks great if that was in the pre-market that's like that's a great thing to add to your um, watch list I, so let's add it and you would add it here and here's another one cron you know let's click on cron we can do our analysis if you want to look at the you know uh the daily on cron to your analysis you can create your your uh lines here your uh, trend you know trends or whatever analysis you want to do your levels uh you can do all kinds of stuff with the with the chart you know and determine yeah this is something you want to do you also can look at the price action here and see if this is something you want to consider for your watch list and say oh, let's assume that it is something so we add it here and let's pick the next one you know here's apple you know well it's only it's got a lot of volume but it's only gapping on about two percent i'm not sure kind of iffy there may be better ones so let's pick um, and say i'm not going to add that one but Let's look at moving. This one's gapping up three million, you know, volume three million, gapping up about three percent. It looks good, so let's add that here. Um, same thing on on the, you know, once you're done with this list, and you may want to consider looking at the NICE uh, stock exchange here. So here we got GE, that is, uh, it was gapping up, but look, you know, it's is you may not like the price section is not moving enough for you so you may decide to skip it and here's another one let's you know for you know price action doesn't look that great you know so again you look at the you want to look at the volume here and you want to look at the percentage change so really quick you know you can you know because it's already sorted by volume you just got to look at the percentage change you know it's like uh this doesn't look that great, you know, it doesn't have any volume. I mean, it hasn't changed anything. It does have the volume, but it hasn't changed. And, you know, here's this one, TRCO. 40 million shares, kept up 9%. So that looks good. So 
TRCO. Okay, once you, you know, we got one, two, three, four, you can, you know, keep washing these in the pre market uh, hours. And, you know, you can change your list, add, remove, whatever you want to do. Um, you can create your levels here in the charts and do your analysis and say this is the list you want to go with. So once you, you know, nail this list, you want to click, right click in the chart, click export and save it to watch list number three or whatever name you want to call it. Save it replace it whatever you had there is gone and it's going to be replaced with this content and now we're ready to go and to our default and um, notice this this is blank it doesn't have what we picked so what we got to do is right click in here import watch list number three import it and there it is there's a list that we built in our scanners um, obviously here we can do our trading and get going the nice thing about this whole thing is that this this top list here becomes obsolete because everything that's in the scanner kind of replaces that and, and it's much more functional and you get this information that you can visually see the volume and the percentage change in one shot here you can see why like the ones we're questioning you know here's TS RO, you know, is third on the list here based on volume, and but it has 58% change. So you may want to look at that, you know, and then you you look at that. No, we don't. We didn't add it to our list because yeah, it all happened in one transaction. So it's probably not a great thing to do, or that's the daily. I'm sorry. You know, you know, here. So, anyways, you get the idea that. The, you, you know this information here is a lot easier to read in this format than it is in whatever we had here f before for the, uh, the top list the nice thing is like, since that window is gone and we don't need it anymore it kind of reduces the the footprint here on the desktop and you can actually use this extra real estate to create something else um, you may um, you know, you may decide that you can somehow fit two stocks in your in your default desktop, and instead of just one, and you can monitor two stocks at one time. And that's it for now. Uh, hopefully, uh, you enjoyed this video and you find this information useful. This is the way I look for my stocks uh, every morning. I use this. I don't have trade ideas, and this is what I use. Uh, to identify my stocks and build my watch list and um, I do the trading here thank you very much and happy trading guys